Hey guys, Grassman here. As much as I don't want to, we're playing more of the reading game. Because, um, reading good. How do I can put this in French? I can't, I don't know if we want to read in French though. My teacher said I, says I need to read in French more. I downloaded like a book app today for that. Anyway, as for English, this is loud. It sounds loud. The next day I decided to try to keep a low profile, trying to avoid the same kind of trouble as yesterday. I forget what happened yesterday. Luckily, Nanami doesn't mess with me. Then I request before school to make it a lunchtime without incident. I'm going good so far. Unfortunately, my luck doesn't last. As soon as I've taken my seat in the cafeteria with Nanami and the others, she starts making demands. I'm starving. John, go buy me some lunch from the store. You know, this lady is sounding like the real bully, eh? Like, are you sure you should be friends with her? I sigh quietly. I'm going to be flat broke by the end of the week at this rate. Yeah, she sounds like the bully here. The other one's like playfully teasing you. This girl's like stealing your money. Sure. Oh, I want to borrow your homework. Uh, bo yeah, yeah, she, she's the she's the bully. Is that the moral of us the story? Our bullies are actually our friends, and our friends are really our bullies. Pew. Incredible. Didn't mess up too badly, did you? Yeah, was at the table sticker over looking at me. Even Chicago looks joins in. If only we left if only you'll be avoid being left out. No, I think I'd find. That's a relief. Glad you're good good for one thing at least. Naomi looks over the table, hoping that her insults are catching Etchy's notice. Like yeah, she's just trying to be a dick on purpose now. Like she's sacrificing she's throwing us under the bus to get in with her. It's clear the girl's not our friend. The Queen of Bullies is completely distracted, eyes firmly locked in her phone. Ah. Anyway, you're doing. She's been more of an ass than the other girl so far. I stand up, sh shouldering my bag again, when Chicago jumps, jumps to her feet as well. Hang on. Come along and help you carry stuff back. Thanks, Chica. So is isn't too far from school. You want me to leave school for this? Why am I doing anything this girl asks? Walk quietly away so I don't spend my entire lunch break doing delivery. Chicago keeps pace without issue, probably not even noticing my accelerated gait. G gate? Gat? What did that say? My accelerated gait. Yeah. What kind of lunch will you get today? I don't know. Or we just have a sandwich or something. I'm more worried about whether about what what to get the others. Seems like whatever I get from Nami is the wrong answer. I she just likes to give you a hard time. Like, even even her. She's she's fooled. They they're all fooled. It's the other way around. Now that's why it's dating my high school bully. You don't date the bully. You date the thing you the, 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 the you date the one you think is your friend, and they're actually the bully. It all makes sense now. It's just a, a deep metaphor for society and the way we treat our friends and relationships. I don't think she'll care too much either way. Hope you're right. Why did the story pass at the local movie theater? It's been a while since we've seen a movie. Why don't we get there sometime after, after school sometime, John? Is there anything good even out right now? Let's find out. Chicago slowly, so, slow slightly crank, craning her neck. Why? Why are these like such weird words? To look at the to look at the now playing posters on the wall. Hey, check out this one. She stops and points out one of the posters featuring a man and a woman with their arms laced around each other in an embrace. By all appearances, it seems like a run of the mill romance. What about it? Saw a commercial for this one once. So two childhood friends entering into adulthood together and trying to find themselves. Find, sorry, try to try to find who, try, trying to find themselves or trying to find themselves. Hmm, and love, and love within themselves. Hmm, that sounds. I, gosh, game, game, my God, what? Is... This is like these are two horrible options. It does sound really dumb. Yeah. Sounds really, really dumb, but I wouldn't phrase it like that. Not in front of a potential love interest. Say, eh, I'm not into, into romance movies, which I'm not. See, if you want actual real tip for guys, for guys who want to be dating, okay? You need a chick flick. There are some. There are some good ones out there. Um, what's it called? Something of the traveling pants. Tale of the traveling pants. Something of the traveling pants. Actual good movie. Um, Mamma Mia, good movie. If you, if you want, like, good chick flicks, you choose those ones. Don't choose random romance, 
movies, they, they're not great. Or see, or like, do you like, find like good, like, natural disaster ones? The love story, like San Andreas. Very clear love story throughout the movie, and there's like the natural disaster fun part, you know? You gotta find good, in, good balanced movies that are actual good, good movies or have like parts of what both people want. Just don't, don't do that stupid, oh look, it's a romance movie. It's just, it's just, you know, run of the mill romance like they said, don't do it. That does sound really dumb. Sounds like your standard trash romance plot. Oh, look at you, Mr. Highbrow. What? You're actually interested in seeing it? Not really. Just, I'm not usually a fan of the genre. See, even she doesn't care! And that's why you find, that's why you use the good chick flicks. The, um, I, what is it called? Something of the Traveling Plant Pants. Look it up. It's a good movie. It's an actually good movie. Even if you're not, even if she's not interested in the genre, she might actually like the movie, because it's just a good movie. And why point out? Why do you think? Doesn't the plot remind you of anything? Crack my brains over a few seconds and nothing springs to mind. You fucking idiot. <laughs> Doesn't it remind you of something? Hint, hint. Hint with a, like, an extra side of hint. No, let me, let me, no, no, can't, sorry, sorry, childhood friend. Can't think of anything. You fucking moron. <laughs> Not really. If you have any of these movies my mom watches, come on, two childhood friends. And I together, just like in me. See, that's just, she's getting it. That's what she was getting at the whole time. He said, he sounds like he's annoyed. That's what she was getting at the whole time. Really? You're about to make your first premium choice. You're about to spend money. Look, you, this choice is important, okay? You're either going to spend money on this choice, or it's just an important choice. It's actually not going to be an important choice at all. Some choices cost rubies. These doesn't let you exclusive scenes and improve your relationship with the love interest. I don't give a shit. Are you suggesting something, or it's not the same? Oh, we only have 30 rubies. I'll flip a coin. Um, I need a coin. Here we go. Okay. There's a heads, there's a tails. Um, tails is premium. Okay, I clapped, but I actually missed the coin. It's heads. I forgot what I said. Oh, that's gonna look so bad. Did I say Tails Premium? Oh no. Um. Oh shit, what did I say? Um. It must have been Tails Premium, right? Is that what I said? Oh no. Okay, assuming I said Tails Premium, which it might have been. If it wasn't, maybe it was intended to be Premium. So we'll go not premium. It's not the same. Yeah, like, sorry, I, I didn't have 30 bucks, so we can't be love interests. Ah, see it. What? But we totally... Suddenly goes quiet. Cheeks flushing a soft shade of red. Y yeah, you're right. I was just messing with you. We're... Our character's a moron. Hey, come on, let's hurry up. Let's hurry before the others get impatient. Without warning, Chicago takes off in the sprint down the street. What the hell? Who they hurry after? Wait up. By the time I catch up, Chicago's already made it to the convenience store. It's, actually, you know what? Maybe it's better we didn't choose that option anyway, if we're trying to stay away from the corn. Face away from the snack food is... Aisle? Oh, that's a weird way of spelling aisle. She seems to have completely forgotten about the movie already ro roaming up and down thoughtfully. Or oh, she gathers up even more junk food. Jeez. I've been everything she bought yesterday. Shake my head, moving, moving off to buy everyone's lunches. But it doesn't end up being as expensive as expected. It still manages to burn a sizable hole in my pocket. Why? Just don't come back. Say say you got caught up and robbed by the bully or something. Make an excuse. Like, ma make some excuse for why you actually couldn't go. Say, say that you were crossing the street and then some guy who tried to run the light got out of his car, started yelling at you. Made a whole scene, you had to make a statement to the police. Make up some cool story and give an excuse. Don't actually go do all this shit. Or, you know, don't hang out with assholes. Like, I'll be honest, I would never, I would never, I wouldn't even do, like, the police story thing, because, you know, it's just kind of unrealistic. But I wouldn't even do something, make up something realistic. Like, I li like, I is this normal to any of you? Like, this kind of thing would never happen. First off, like, the school I go to, 
I don't know if this is like a Canadian thing versus American thing, or like a Canadian thing versus the rest of the world in thing, but, like, bullies aren't a thing. There aren't really any bullies. Like, the closest thing to a bully I've ever seen was, like, myself in third grade. That's about it. Like, there's, there's not really, like, at least physical bullying. I, I mean, this isn't even, I guess this isn't physical. This is like, it was this physical. Physical bullying is not a thing. Social bullying maybe happens a little bit, which is kind of what's happening here. What are the other kinds? Like, cyber and verbal? Social is the only one that kind of happens, and even when it happens here, it's not intentional. I hope. But, like, this is clear intentional social bullying. And, like, possibly physical. Possibly other kinds. There was some verbal bullying back to the first lady. Assuming it wasn't, like, all in good ga good fun, though, right? It was just unrealistic. At least for where I would go to school. Once we banged up everything... Bag... Bagged. Bagged. <laughs> Once we stuck our penises and everything. <laughs> I don't know why. The shop te The storekeeper started dialing 911. It really seemed concerned about something. Once we bagged up everything... Chicago and I hurry back to school. <laughs> Actually, though, that might be a better plan. Just, you, they're gonna make you buy stuff? Well, maybe you gotta go to the bathroom, and the orange juice is right there. So maybe you take a swig of the orange juice and then relieve yourself. Maybe, maybe you take the milk and you put some... You put some white stuff in the milk and you mix it around as all you know, you may, just th just thinking, right? Just thinking. Didn't think it'd be too much scary. It's a good thing I came with you. It's all your junk food. Wouldn't be so much if you hadn't bought a ton of junk food again. Hey, it's a share. I hope so. I swear I don't know how much how you keep in such good shape with all that crap you eat. Aw, oh, thank you. That was not a compliment. I'm just nearing the couch here and I hear someone speaking in a harsh tone. Is that coming from our classroom? Sneak a little closer and peer through the door. Please leave me alone. Or what? No one wants to be around trash like you, so no one's gonna come running to help. Okay, so it's just verbal bullying. So he's just an ass, then. They don't want your stink on them, you know? What? What is that even supposed to mean? Like, I understand if she was, like, insulting a black person with that, because you can, like... You can understand, like, some racist saying, like, they don't want your stink on you. But, like, they're both just white girls. Like, am I am I missing something here? Or is that just, like, a really weird insult? Based on the context. Just stands there, her head lowering slightly as you're trying to make yourself a smaller target. Just shrug it off. Why did, why did you get insulted by that? It wasn't even a good insult. And she growls and swipes at her desk, knocking his lunch and takes her all over the floor. Okay, well now we're get okay. So now we're getting close to physical. So now she now there's an actual bullying concern here. I suggest a murder. Yikes! Nearly jumping my skin when I hear Kaka whispering over my shoulder. Don't start me like that. I thought you went on. Thought you went ahead. What if AG hears us? Sorry. Just go in and beat her up, right? Right. Like, what's the worst that happens? Like. You go in, you intimidate her a little, make her throw the first strike, and then you punch her back. Right? It'll work. Trust me. She falls out of a window. I'm wondering what you were looking at. Come on, we should get out of here. The group's waiting for us. She nudges me on her shoulder trying to move. Why well, she claims it's for the group? I'm sure she's just keen to get away from whatever's been going on between Etch and Aya. On the other hand, I don't blame her. On the other, I has taken the, the last look inside the classroom. It is on her hands and knees... Head ducked as she cleans up Edgy's mess. And that's Edgy watching, walking towards the door. Crap. Beat her up! Hit her! Get her! Murder! Scram back and breaking a run, do a run down the hallway. Chicago falls suit and somehow we manage to turn the corner before Edgy spots us. Okay, now go back and help the other lady. Keep running for a few more minutes before slowing down to a stop. Why'd you run for minutes through the school? How big is your school? Our s schools aren't that big. Like, I could like lap mine in like a minute. How big is your school? A few minutes of running. Feeling feeling safe enough to return around again. So make our way back to the cafeteria. I can't share a nagging feeling of guilt. Is it wrong to run away like that? Yes! Yes, it was! You're an asshole! Should you have done something to help? Yes! Dude realizes his mistake! Well, no! 
he he's found this he's found there are mistakes. He doesn't realize he's made mistakes. I start to frown. Okay, thank you. Leaving A behind like that. Maybe I should Yeah, help her. It's the right thing to do. Try to make things right. Hey Chica, do you mind carrying these back? I need to run to the bathroom. Oh sure. Thanks. Run on the back. I'll put, I'll put one of the bags back to Chicago before turning and bolting back towards the classroom. Why are you running through the school like this? This is unsafe. By the time I arrive, Echi is long gone. Yeah, you've been running. You it, you ran for minutes away. You must have run for minutes back. It's been it's been like ten minutes. A is probably gone by this point, moron. A is still on the floor. Okay, well, slow cleaner, I guess. Crawling around, she tries to pick up the mess of food and and stationery. Need some help? Her head lifts sharply, almost like she's expecting another bully. When she sees me, she relaxes slightly, shaking her head. N no, that's okay. Come on, I insist. I step closer and get down my knees, help I sweep the rice right across the floor. If there's rice over the- Why do you sweep the rice over the floor? If it's on the floor, leave it. Let the janitor deal with that. Or the teacher. Or- Or blame Echi. <laughs> Who made the mess on the floor? Well, when the principal gets to the bottom of it- Oh, Echi knocked the food off my tray. Well, who's in trouble now? Or just don't say anything, but- Just- just don't- just don't say anything, but like, you know, do that thing where you like silently argue against something. Like, how, how, would, how would you do it? Just, if she tries to lie about what happened, say, that's not what happened, and then don't say what happened. That, that should, that sh in theory that works. Because she won't, she probably won't get mad at you if you don't actually say what happened. No, well, no. Yeah, you're probably fucked either way. That's a harder one. Okay, ignore everything I said. Maybe I should have grabbed a broom first. You're watching me with an unsure and untrusting eye for a moment before resuming her something. For what? Uh, resuming her cleaning. She's not saying a word. I guess the fact that she hasn't st stood me, shooed me away means she's accepting my help. Get the food cleaned up in silence until the floor is more or less spotless. When it comes to her books, however, I notice that she's that there's some kind of issue. Saw some sauce staining them the surface of one of them. Okay, that should've been the first- first of all, that should've been the first thing you cleaned. The books before the food, lady. Like, she should've immediately picked that up and cleaned that off. So it wouldn't stain as bad. Seems to notice as well, and the small frown on her face bent deepening at the sight. Yeah, I get the feeling, that sucks. It's not one of our textbooks. It's from the library? I shakes her head. It's mine. Oh, crap. I could always get another one, right? She was in the bottom of the lip for a moment before nodding. Yeah, but that's not- that, that was a dumb thing to- that was a dumb thing to say. That's not how you- is it just me, or or is this guy like a moron? Like, you can just get another, is not a good response to that. Like, just, first off, just as a good friend, try and say, well, hey, it'll be, it, you can, it's, it's only a little stain, right? Make light of the situation, right? Kind of like joke it off. Help her feel better. And like, especially the fact it's a love interest. Dude's got no idea what the fuck he's doing. Like, how is he popular? I don't understand. I guess so. Why are you me? Why'd you help me? Huh? I really wanted to admit that I saw it happen and I felt guilty. I just... I wasn't busy and you looked like you could use a, a hand, that's all. I see. I looked down at the floor, hands... Hands fidgeting slightly. Thank you, then. Of course. One second. Reaching the plastic bag brought me a sandwich I purchased for myself, offered to you. Eyes wide and especially flitting, fleeting over her face. Suspicion fleeting over her face. But that's the that's not the right way to spell fleeting. That's not right. Before it settles into a neutral expression, for me, since your regular lunch was ruined, I thought you might want something to eat. Okay, fair enough. I was gonna make some snarky comment, but that's just fair. Aya studies the sandwich for a moment before reluctantly reaching out to accept it. Immediately she opens the package and removes half the sandwich, offering me the other half back. Are you sure? I don't really mind if... I'm sure. Thank you. Aya takes her hand off the sandwich and sits back down to eat her desk. You're welcome. Just trying to leave when I notice Aya glance my way. There's a faint but noticeable smile on her lips. Good progress. Kind, kind of dumb idea, but you, you, got, you, got, you got part way there. You, you, you made some progress, right? Back in the cafeteria, I take my seat again and try to focus on my lunch. Despite criticizing my food selection, Naomi digs in eagerly along with the others. The scattering- How long were we gone for? If lunch is only an hour, we must have been gone for like... 
<laughs> like, all that must have surely taken, like, 30, 40 minutes at least. So you don't have to eat. The scattering of the usual conversation but tests and teachers until Nanami suddenly brings up a ban brand new topic. So, more than halfway through the school, high school already. Okay. How many people do you... How many people have you guys dated? Ha <laughs> That's a... Okay, that's... I was, like, thinking, huh, okay, so they're in, like, what, grade 11? Okay, and... Okay, I... Interesting way... I'm, like, interesting way to bring up context. How many people have you guys dated? <laughs> How many men have you fucked? <laughs> friend... Friend A! Oh, wow! Bravo! Bravo! Friend A! Oh, my God, friend A! Where is this coming from? Friend A, incredible. Honestly, good question. But friend A, Jesus, man. Some of us are running out of time, that's all. What do you mean, running out of time? You're in grade 11. You shouldn't have even started dating yet. Like, well, eh, grade 11. Grade 10, well, I, mean, I don't think grade 9. Grade 10 and 11 should be the first times you're even starting. You guys have all of high school and university yet. Well, part of high school and all of university or college yet. You guys have time. Jeez, guys, slow down. You don't want to go to college without ever having been on a date, do you? That's perfectly fine. Like, this is bad. She's like, pressure- Oh, no, she's pressure- Oh, this is gonna end this so horribly, but she's pressuring them into it. Oh, God, this is not a good friend group. Lady, you gotta shut up. R right, of course not. Friend A, don't be such a moron. Ah! Friend A, you fool. What are you doing? In a couple of dates with a few girls. Okay. I feel like I need to say this. If you're in grade 11, and you've been on... Okay, first off, a couple of dates with a few girls implies you've been on two dates with three girls. That's even more concerning. But ignoring the grammar, ignoring the technical grammar problems, you should not have been on two or three dates by this point. Right? Like, if you've been on one, that's, like, like, two or three dates, fine. But with a few girls, is probably not good. If you've been on a few dates with one girl by this point, that's fine. If you've had, like, that's a few girls. So that's, that implies three. That implies three, even though the couple, the, like, the word couple also implies two. If we say two or three, two I can maybe understand. You should not have had three relationships by this point. Couldn't be. I had one serious girlfriend a couple years ago, and a few days with her. What do you mean a couple years ago? Were you dating seriously in grade nine? What is wrong with you people? A serious... A few days with her since then. What do you mean? Others implies more than two. Why have you had three? You're only in grade 11. What are... Where is this? In my entire grade. In my entire high school. I There's probably been like a dozen dates if let not less. Grade 12 maybe otherwise. But... Three already. Dude, calm the fuck down. I learned my head knowing full well that I've never dated anyone. Just skip over me, please. Like, don't low- And you, fucking John, don't lower your stupid head. Don't lower your stupid fucking head. Just say- Say something actually somewhat emotionally intelligent. Like, I don't even know. Just say something not stupid. Just say you've been focusing on your studies. John, for the love of God. Oh, um, constantly for some reason. I haven't really done much relationship-wise, to be honest. But doing a couple of dates with the one guy. See, there you go. Perfectly fine. Haven't done too much to win a couple of dates. Fine. Perfectly fine. We didn't really get off, though. Soon Chicago stops speaking, and now he's attempting to move over me. What about you, John? Me? What should I say? Okay. You're so fucking stupid, John. Don't give a bad answer, because they'll press... We're not- they're not idiots. They're grade 11s, presumably. Like, they're gonna press in and you're gonna be fucked. And don't just admit it. Well, I've never been on a date with any- Say you're focused on something- John, what the fuck is wrong with you, you moron? Well, I haven't actually been on a date before. I'm completely in my defense. But he totally could, I bet. What the fuck are you doing? John and I go out all the time. Just friends and I have loads of fun. 
Hmm. John, John, are you picking up this message? John, how stupid are you really? I really don't think that's helping, Chica. John, focus on the bigger issue. No one gives a shit about your shitty friend group. She's hitting on you. John, for the... Jesus Christ, John. <laughs> it's so obvious. You idiot. <laughs> no way. You never dated anyone? It's grade 11. How is this surprising? <laughs> Where are we? I flush as Nami starts to crackle. What do you mean you flush? Or cackle. Why aren't she cackling? That's normal. No one's ever been on a date before. It's grade 11. No one's been on a serious date. Literally zero? That's not unusual. That's 95% of the student body. What are you talking about, lady? Wow, John. You're talking losers. You're the biggest one. She's an ass. Why do we hang out with this lady? Hey, now. It's not because I can't date, you know. It's just, I have interested in dating all. No, no, you fucking idiot. Don't say that because she's hitting on you. Don't say you're not interested. Say you've been focused on studies. That way there's room to let dating in because you're not interested. You idiot. You, what is wrong with you, you moron? <sighs> Oh my god. John, you dumbass. Giving a puzzled frown. I look away hoping to avoid any, any more mockery. You dumbass. You've ruined everything. So she is sneakily making her way into the cafeteria. This is your only hope because she hasn't seen any of this stuff. So you're so stupid. She's carrying her stained lunchbook towards the line. So she's trying to bore us and to clean it off. Speaking of losers. She's... She's worse than the actual bully. The grin creeps slowly across Nami's face. You can just solve the problem with your lack of experience, John. Why don't you go over and ask, ask A out? It's a good spot to stop the music game on. I gotta, I gotta be honest. Props there. Oh, that's, um... Are you kidding? That's social suicide! <laughs> yeah, he's like a total pariah? I don't know what that means. Even if he's John there, he's doomed. Plus, I don't think. Let me wag wags a finger in my face, clicking her tongue. It's up to you, of course, John. That's a... Okay. I did not I did not see that coming. John, you gotta play this cool and joke it off. You just gotta say something like, well, I didn't see that coming. And then you gotta consider it. Cause you might actually have a chance at that one. If you don't ask it out, you better find someone else to sit at lunch tomorrow. Shocked my reverberates around the table. Okay, well you don't want to be here anyway, so why don't you go ask it out and then not sit here anyway, just to show her how much how cool you are. Lunch alone is as good as death sentence in this school. Why? Who gives a shit? Give me a sharp worried look. Okay, do it. Fine, I'll do it. Don't stutter, you moron. Oh my god. Like, here's what you do, okay? Because you were not planning for this, you are not yet, your brain does not produce enough of the hormone to panic you. Or chemical. Chemical hormone, same thing. It's not produced enough to panic you, meaning you go do it, just say, hey, yeah, yeah. You, you want to go to the movie this night or something? Simple as that. We already know there's a movie. You want to go to the movie. And then, when you've started to panic, you're already gone. If she says yes or no, you leave. Everything's over. If you get rejected, ouch, who cares? Friend A and B go, ah, man, sorry for you, bud. That's harsh. She makes fun of you and nothing changes, right? If you get accepted, then, I mean, then you did it, and then you get to go sit at another table anyway, right? And then show, how, show her how cool you are. You don't need her. He's an ass anyway. That's better you than me. Good luck, John. I'll go on then. So I'll harsh rising on the table and make my way slowly across the cafeteria towards Aya. How should I go about this? No. Just. Uh, he's. Okay. I, so I was going to suggest to shorten the time to stop the panic from setting in, don't 
make small talk, just do it, otherwise it's going to get a lot worse. In If you're going the way of small talk, um... God. If we compliment her, it's going to look like we're being an ass in front of like our friends and trying to m make fun of her and bully her further, which is not going to end well. Because she's already suspicious of us. It looks like we set it up. And it's the absolutely she's doing that just is completely relevant and not going anywhere. Uh, compliment, we gotta be careful about it. Came behind her and gently tapped on her shoulder. Turned swiftly, looking alarmed. Hey, yeah, uh, sorry for startling you. I just wanted to say, oh my god. Don't, like, no, no, you're doing this all wrong, oh my god. Like, play it off joking like, oh sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. And then, because of the start, ask how she's doing. Like, it, it it fits better, right? Like, the compliment works if you're, like, gonna go up to her, but, like, after this, joke it off and then ask, are you okay? How are you doing? Because it works together, right? Like, honestly, how am I, the guy who's, like, never had a girlfriend or anything, doing better than John? Like, it's not that hard. It's like, it's like talking. It's like making friends, but a little bit more complicated. John, how did he ever make friends? You, you look, you look cute today. You, oh, John, you moron, John. <laughs> oh. You dumbass. That was like the stupidest thing you could have said. Comment only seems to make her uneasy, like I'm plotting something. Exactly! This is what we were trying to avoid, you fucking moron! Because she's gonna think we're like trolling her in front of her friends. This isn't going anywhere. Just come out and ask. Say, moving on to you know. From the living of the table in your eye right now, and the others are watching me intensely. Go on, date me? Okay, good. You've asked it. Good. That's where you wanted to be, and now it doesn't matter what happens. Okay? You've asked it. That's the hard part done. Congratulations, John. You've managed it. You fucked it up really badly all the way here, but you've managed it. Congratulations. Frowns at me for a moment before her eyes lift over my shoulder, cl clearly taken in the suspicious scrutiny of our peers. Yeah, that's the problem. You gotta be. That's why you gotta be careful. You shouldn't have said the cute line. It was really suspicious. So I thought she responds with a faint nod. Sure. Really, John, you moron! <laughs> I'd scream, but I don't want to like. I don't want to be loud now. It's late. John, you dumbass! Oh my god. R really? John. <laughs> yes. John, my god. If she just blatantly said yes after that, really, she's a good one. Did you, did you want to go after school? Uh, and then this far ahead? <laughs> just say yeah. Sure? Alright then. Alright, I guess I'll see you then. Even though that's a good day before screwing away. Oh wait, heart racing. I don't get it. She's so hard to read. I never expected her to say yes. Uh, okay, but. It didn't matter if she said yes. Like, why didn't you think about that as the least a an option? Sitting back in the seat, I can hear my friends chatting slightly about what just happened. Nami looks at me with a smug smile, but watch Chicago. Chicago keeps keeps sending sympathetic glances in my direction. I barely noticed. No, she's distracted by my upcoming date. I'm going to be the fir I'm gone my first date after school, and I haven't <laughs> I haven't got the clue first clue what to do. Well, that's the thing. You're just meeting up after school, and then you don't know what to do. Which is, like, the perfect way to just, like, go into, like, taking a walk, and then, like, having a lunch, or, like, going to the movie. It's a perfect for, for the first date. Well done. Honestly. Dating my high school bully. But I'm not! I'm, like, dating the other girl. Reach the end of the episode, restart the episode. Okay, well, it seems like we're only going to be able to, play, able to play, like, two more chapters. But we're going to need to go on the date. So, John can... Ugh, how bad is John going to be on the date? I honestly don't know how he still has friends. He's so bad at this social stuff. Jesus. Either that, or I'm completely misunderstanding social stuff. And that might be the truth, because I don't have friends. Um, but... Let me know in the comments if you think me or John's advice are doing better. 
Hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, if you enjoy, and if you enjoy my content, please like and subscribe. And yeah, let me know in the comments what you think, because this is... I don't think John can stain this relationship. But we'll see what happens. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.